Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a strange but exciting, potentially game-changing item that can be found at your local drugstore. I personally picked this one up at CVS. I have the Magnetic Lash from Kiss. This says it will last up to 16 hours. Line, lash, and done. So we're gonna dive into this duo. You do have to purchase each item separately. So you have a Magnetic Eyeliner. Now, I don't know, does that mean, oh no, it specifically works with their lashes. I thought for just maybe a second that it worked with a different lash band, but you do need to purchase this specific Kiss Lash Line Magnetic Lashes. You guys, here's the scoop. I have tested magnetic lashes before. I have tested the kind that you put the liner on, you pop them on. That was my favorite variety, if you will. And then there was the total fail show, just like this other video was such a nightmare. And I remember specifically sitting in the studio and trying to get these double stack magnetic lashes to work for the longest time. Oh my gosh. I tried over and over and over and over and over because I really wanted them to work. I could not make it work. Funny enough, I wanna throw this out there. I somehow along the way, if you didn't know, I am like the official, unofficial <laughs> spokesperson for magnetic lashes. It is the number one thing that I find in my DMs, be it on Twitter or in my email or on IG, which by the way, PS, you can follow me at all places. I love hearing from you guys in the DMs and I respond when I can. It's so important to me to connect with you as much as I can. But I do notice themes and I hear you guys as far as like what you wanna see me make videos of. I hear you when you tell me like, oh my gosh, this person's using you in an ad. And magnetic lashes is the worst. Like it is the worst of the worst of the worst. It literally like, it blows my mind. There are companies that will take my image or the video of me applying the liner, applying the lash, and then they'll like swoop in their logo and like their branding and make it feel like I'm part of their commercial, <laughs> which is very not okay. Like, please stop doing that. We need to stop doing that. It's so much worse than not disclosing a sponsorship or affiliate links or anything like that. And I don't know why it is not more focused on, I think it should be, because it happens with foundations, lip products, where my image will literally be taken and used as a thumbs up, great, like look, Tati loves this product. It's actually why I trademarked Tati approved many years ago, so that people could not take my likeness and put that statement on it. So that was like a safety that I have had for years. So it's just odd to me that it's like, if I were to like bap, like pop one, another one will pop up and it just kind of seems like the type of fight that would take me away from creating. And I wanna be a creator first and focused on that and not waste my time talking with lawyers. I just wanna share with you guys, you have power in your purchasing decisions always. We vote with our wallets and who you support is important and it matters. So if you see ads that feel kind of yucky or suspicious, you're like, wait, that wasn't the brand that she was using. Don't be fooled, don't buy it. Feel free to send it my way. I really love that you guys do that for me. But yeah, it was kind of shocking for a while, like months to see like, oh, okay. And, I, and there I am with that magnetic lash brand. Oh, Okay, another one. It just like over and over and over. And even on Amazon, you can like find my image with magnetic lashes. And I just wanna make loud and clear, no one is paying me. The very first video I made on magnetic lashes, I did not get paid. That was not a sponsored video. I don't do sponsored videos. I speak my mind. I say what I wanna say. I don't go out of my way to be mean. I feel like I am very fair and I just give pros and cons when it comes to brands. And I wish, I wish for more of that, to be honest. I wish that people felt a little more free to be that way and not like they had to be in one particular lane to not piss a brand off or ruin a future relationship. I'm just at the point where I don't 
care anymore. I'm getting back really hardcore to my roots and my channel has always been very authentic, but now more than ever, I look out at the world and I can't help but feel like I don't want any of the BS. Like I just don't. I want to be me. I want to review things how I review them. And I'm just, I'm sticking to my guns, you guys. I hope you guys are into it. And you can like this video if you want to give like a positive vibe here, subscribe, ring the bell, all of that. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. This turned into kind of like a juicy beginning of this video. I couldn't review this without talking to you guys about it. So there we go. All right, let's dig into this. I, I think I want to do, because I'm not going anywhere. I think I want to do a few check-ins throughout the day to see really if this holds up the same as glue, you know? Or if it irritates my eyes or if there's anything different from the other brand that I reviewed, which I did really like. And I wore those for a long time until they kind of wore out and then just got lazy and never reordered. But I did enjoy them. Like I enjoy the process of it. There's still in the back of my head, a little part of my brain that is like, is this, is this safe? Like, is this totally safe? Because even though ingredients are deemed safe, sometimes if you research further, it can be a little bit alarming as to what's put in cosmetics. Now, normally it's not at a level that will really cause a problem at all. However, something so close to your eyes does make me kind of want to question a little bit more. What do you guys think? This formula, the magnetic formula, what do we think of it? Ingredients, we need to know the ingredients. What are the ingredients? This is only good for three months. There's their little logo on the back. Okay, make sure to shake the bottle. Contact lens friendly. Great, because I wear contacts. Magnetize your makeup routine. Okay, it just says to line kiss magnetic eyeliner along the lash line, wait until it is dry, and then you're gonna put on the magnetized lashes. Is there ingredients though? Ah, Stryline copolymer, beeswax, so it's not vegan, phenylalanil, iron oxides, glycerin, trithanolamine. What is that? I don't even know. It's an emulsifier. Okay, so there is a cream that is a medication. <laughs> it says don't get it in your eyes. Pray for me. <laughs> Let's just get down to it. Scoot you closer. Okay, <laughs> we have our magnetic lashes. We have our glue, which I did a touch more looking into, and it is actually iron oxides that help the magnet to stick. Everything else is kind of just the juice around that, you know, the wax and the emulsifiers and all of that. So iron oxides are in a lot of makeup. I feel fine about it, I think. I don't know, we'll give them a whirl. And I don't think I'm gonna start with them trimmed. I might, woo, I might like, trim after the fact? I don't know. Should I trim beforehand? Decisions, decisions. Cause there's kind of just like no going back, you know? I think I'm gonna just try to go for it and then we'll just like see what happens. Wish me luck. So this is like, black is black. It is a very intense, rich liner. I already have liner on and I would recommend that. I would actually recommend already having your eye makeup, your liner done, and then you can kind of go and graze on top of it. And you won't have to worry about making it too perfect if you have the underneath already done. So we're gonna go on in. I'm gonna start at the very inner corner. And I am gonna wait until this like fully, fully, fully dries. I'm not even gonna play. <sighs> I feel like eyeliner, especially when it is like watery, but like really intense, just gives me a moment of like, okay, you can do this. Like, don't shake your hands too much. Come on, hold your breath or like think happy thoughts. You know, it, liner, it stresses me out so much. One wrong move and, and it's over, you know? Okay. Uh, I think I did a good job. I'm 
I'm just not even gonna try and make it any better because I'm worried that I'm doing the, this side got just a little bit bigger. Let's maybe make this side bigger and like that whole thing, you know? Lashes, please adhere nicely to my eyeballs. Does it look dry? We're just gonna like make sure it's super dry. I'm gonna just kind of sway for a second. <laughs> Okay, I've had about enough of that. Let's just go in. That is so weird. What in the heck? What? Oh my gosh, I put it on the wrong eye. That's why Dodo. Hello. Oh my gosh, I feel like I need like really intense theme music right now. It's like the final battle. That is wild. That actually worked better than the first one that I reviewed that was like the liner like this. This looks natural. Wow. What's cool is you can get it like right in that inner, 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 inner corner. And I don't even feel it. This is like a whole new world for me. I wonder if the, how many different styles they have. Okay, I think this eye needs like a little bit more on the outer edge. You can kind of feel where it's just not gripping into anything. So have some patience. This is a little bit of a learning curve item. I just love that this is not like $50 and you can pick it up at the drugstore. Like that's really awesome. And it's very natural. This is like a very everyday lash, right? I'm actually gonna put a little more on this side. This is so crazy. I think the crazy part for me is that this is just such a lightweight band as makeup, cosmetics, the industry improves always, technology gets better and little adjustments are made and products get better. And this is probably the best that I have tried. Like this is cool. This one is being a little problem child. Uh, I feel like I need more stuff. It's just not clinging in that inner corner for whatever reason. Wow. Okay, they have a bunch of different styles. Uh, looks like I will be ordering. Why am I doing that? This is my habit to make my glue dry. There's no glue on here. I will be ordering more tonight for sure. Okay, it still needs to dry. I like it. It's a little tricky to get used to. Similar problems I had to the first brand that I tried. The first brand that I tried had a much thicker, it was like almost glue texture, like much thicker liner. This feels like a legit just liquid liner that you would use that wouldn't be magnetized, that you just have in your collection just to line your eyes with. So that's really nice. That's a definite upgrade. The price is better, obviously. I like the variety. I like that these are very fluffy, lightweight, natural. I do suggest getting some type of like magnified mirror to really be able to look and see exactly where those magnets are being placed against the liner because there will be a little bit of adjusting and then also probably wait to trim them until after if you need to trim them at all because there's no going back once you do that. But I'm gonna zoom the camera back out. Was it a success? Yeah, I like it. Really? They look like regular lashes. I know, right? And you can pull them off and put them back on? Wow.
Ta-da! That's pretty amazing. Right? I'm very impressed. <laughs> I'm really impressed too. Wow. I know. So, <laughs> speechless. Here we are. I'm liking it. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day. I am probably 95% going to order the other styles because all in all, to have no sticky residue left on your eyelid and for this to be a much more thin texture, as far as the liner itself that helps the magnets to lay down, I like it. I wanna see if I get a headache or anything weird or if it keeps popping off or if really, you know, if there's any security issues with, security issues with my, Lashes, oh my gosh. You know what I mean? Like I wanna see if they pop off or fall off easily. I definitely would not wear these on a windy day. Like I feel like they will move much easier than a glued on lash, but they're pretty secure. Like I'm pretty impressed. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. So far, so good. What's up you guys? I feel like I transported a thousand years, time traveled. What day is it? What's my name? I don't even know. Um, I took a nap and it's dark outside and is that not the yuckiest feeling of all time? When you wake up and you're like, great, now I know what comes next. I am not gonna be tired tonight when I should be going to bed and it's a cycle. I need to break the cycle. Okay, let's talk about the lashes. I am actually gonna go ahead and say that I took a nap so that I could really have a reason to pull these off, set them on my nightstand, and then wake up and be just in that like, ugh, I'm hungry, I'm angry, I'm still tired, I don't know, like that kind of a mood and be like, ugh, my lashes. And let me tell you, the moment I popped them back on, I was revitalized, I was brought back, I feel beautiful. The rest of my makeup maybe has fallen apart, but who cares, the lashes look great. I am a big fan. I like the formula of the actual glue itself so much. I'm curious to try other styles because I am such a fan of Kiss Lashes just in general, just the different styles that they have, I think are very flattering. So yeah, I'll let you guys know. I'll do maybe like an Instagram modeling session in stories with like my different lash styles. That could be so fun for some of you. For others, you will have secondhand embarrassment. Anyway, I popped these on so fast and just like grabbed my phone to kind of show you all. It's so weird. You can like feel the magnets sticking. Like, cause the liner is dry and the liner is not goopy or sticky at all. So it's like just the magnet itself. I think I need to trim these. But all in all, I wanna say, I think these are cool for dinner, daytime, not super active activities. They're great. They will not hold up if you are working out, running on a roller coaster, that kind of a thing. I think there's not enough grip. There is still a place for glue, but this works and it's very cool. And I do like the convenience factor. It is fast. I definitely need to trim these though. So anyway, you guys, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Subscribe, ring the bell, turn it to all, and you will be notified of my upcoming videos. I'm here two times a week. All right, well, have a good one. I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.